traveling in a classic car is a huge adventure. Who knows if it's going to make it? They need constant care and attention, especially when you're off the beaten track or parked in a meter of water. <laughs> How do you get back on the road again? We've asked Land Rover guru Rob to shine a light on the subject and help us understand the technical side of maintenance and repair. Is this a problem with curly stuff? Yes, well, now, now, now we're getting to the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Well, yeah, okay. Well, all right. Um, surely we're surely go... the, the brakes and uh, that kind of thing is more important than seat belts? Or no, 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 the no, no, they're exactly the same. Okay. So, um, so we do tyres and we do brakes, mm -hmm. okay. then we can lift the vehicle up. We don't have to take the wheels off, we yeah. have to lift the vehicle up and make sure that all of the um, suspension system is attached to the vehicle and there is okay. no, uh, as I say, there's no play in any of the, the steering or anything like that. Okay. So, um, for the tyres, then um, basically you have to look for uh, tread of an even depth across the Okay. That should um, be a pass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, that, that's a millimeter at least. <laughs> yeah. The the, the, the the regulation is basically that anything from about two and a half millimeters mm -hmm. would be an advice point, mm -hmm. and anything from one point six millimeters and under is a fail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, um, there are kind of ways of, of doing it with the side of the coin, okay. okay. And and if the side of the coin, if the side of the coin is still visible, mm -hmm. then basically you're starting to think, okay, that's less than 1.6 millimeters. Okay. Okay. So do you to put a but, coin in there? Yeah, put a coin in that way. Okay. So, okay. You know. so uh, again, we can demonstrate on the Freelander and okay. show you exactly yeah. what. So, so going on about, about the, the tread, normally you can get a coin. This one's about, <laughs> this one's about. This one's about a euro, actually. Um, <laughs> but on the edge of a coin, then you then you can work out roughly what two millimeters is going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And a very simple test. And then if you put it into the tread mm -hmm. and see how far in it goes, and here we have about I don't know mm -hmm. what's that work out as about about, two, about and two and a half. Yeah. So this actually would be an adv uh, 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 an ad advisory. Mm. Okay. Um, so, it's getting better as you go further in. Yeah. But, uh, and actually, it's across the width of the tyre. Now, different tyres, obviously, different you've got tires. different sizes. So, this is a 195-80R15, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and basically, uh, this part is 80% of, uh, sorry, this part is 80% of that part. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, but when it comes to actually the MOT, then we have a measurement, we've actually got a measuring mm -hmm. scale that mm -hmm. takes from the center line to the outside edge. So it's about, it's roughly here that we're looking for the tread. And it's the, the, the full tread. And as I say, on here, then it's a bit borderline. And then do you do these ones as well? These ones, I, if they are main grooves, then you've got to check them as well. And again, it's an advisory. Mm. Okay, so it's not down to the 1.6 millimeters, mm -hmm. but it's the mm -hmm. two and a half. So, and in actual fact, mm -hmm. um, this was MOT quite recently, and I gave myself an advisory. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that I have to. I know that I have to replace it, to replace it yeah. at some point. So that, that one looks newer. The, the the two front ones on you. Okay. With this one, we take the coin and then we lose it. I think we can safely say there is more than uh, a few mil of tread. So, that's a pass. So there you go. So, and for the brakes, mm -hmm. then what? I'm not that interested in the thickness of the braking material. Mm -hmm. And the okay. brake pads, the brake itself. pads yeah. themselves. Okay, um, I am from a mechanics point of view, mm -hmm. but from a, a tester's point of view, mm -hmm. then what the rules say is that fifty percent of the surface of the disc, if mm -hmm. we're talking about brake discs, mm -hmm. uh, that come into contact with the brake pads okay. must be uh, bare metal. Okay. okay? 
pure visual, visual inspection. So uh, now, if it was, if I had steel wheels, I would have to take the the wheel off. But okay. because it's alloy wheels, then I can just look through. Yeah. Okay. So, but what I'm looking for is the surface of the disc, and that the wear on the disc is even, which it is. You can see the points where the where the brake pads come into contact. And the brake pads are in here, mm -hmm. and you can see if I with the pen. So this is the outer edge of the brake pad here. Mm -hmm. This is the inner edge of the brake pad, and this is the width that we're talking about. So it's fifty percent of this has to be nice shiny metal. Yeah. Okay. So it is possible. It's not advisable, but it is possible to have, for instance, a band up to there yeah. of this part here being rust and this part here being clear, yeah. and that would still be acceptable. Okay. Now, that's from the test point of view, but that's not necessarily acceptable no. from my point of view, <laughs> okay? But I have to follow the rules. Yeah. Okay. You, well, you don't want to mess around with your brakes, surely. No, you don't want to mess yeah. around with your brakes. And again, yeah. you've, you've got to start thinking, you know, you know, do I feel safety. happy? Is yeah. it safe? Yeah. You know, so, okay. Well, they're, those I'm pretty happy with. They look nice so, and shiny. Yeah, they're fine. So, we look at the... Um, now you've got that side, but you also have a side on the other mm -hmm. side, if you see what I'm saying, on the inner. Okay. okay. And again, sometimes you've got a, 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 a mud shield. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to see behind the mudge field. Now, normally there is somewhere where you can inspect, and here we can see again, round here, that this surface here is nice and shiny. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can also see underneath there. Yeah, you can see here as well. So, you know. Okay. But again, you've got to check both sides because if it, the it, sorry. If there was anything uneven about it, you would see traces of it in the smooth... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if the, if the brake pad... For instance, if the brake pad on one side wasn't operating, mm -hmm. okay, or all of the material had gone, A, you would hear it, but B, it would start to scratch that surface, mm -hmm. or there was rust build-up because the brakes weren't actuating on that side, then this side's clean, mm -hmm. that side would be technically rusty, yeah. therefore 50% of that disc, and it's, no, well no, 50% and that's, that's the failure point, yeah, okay, so, but again, you've got to start thinking as well, okay, you know, you know. it's, the, the, the test itself is not that, is not that hard, but you've really got to think about, you know, if my vehicle passes the yeah, test yeah. but is unsafe, yeah, do I want to drive do this? Do I want to drive it? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Again, we can check this side. And here, again, we have a surface that we can see. And on this one, in actual fact, you can see that's the outer edge here. This is the inner edge here. And this portion rusted. is rusted. Okay. okay. And so there we're looking at, I don't know, 15% possibly of the surface. Mm -hmm. It's not that much. So it will at once, st at some stage. So that's, that's okay. Yeah. And, and again, there's probably just some dirt crap, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm somewhere in here that the, the pad is not actuating onto. But that's still acceptable. And for me, it's not desperate anyway. So, um, how long would it take before we need to replace those discs, more or less? Is there well, there is a minimum, yeah, there is a minimum thickness for the discs. That's normally written on the outside edge of the disc. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can see it. <clears throat> the outside edge is a bit rusty. So, in the, in the workshop manual, there is a section mm -hmm. about brake discs, and, and it varies from vehicle to vehicle. Mm -hmm. These ones are non-vented discs, mm -hmm. so it's a solid disc. Yeah. Um, you do have vented discs where you have okay. two sides with the, the gaps in the middle, and they are of different thicknesses. 
okay? Mm -hmm. So so each, for instance, it will say on a, on a disc, um, minimum thickness 13 millimeters. Yeah. And that is <coughs> basically from there to there, so it's the it's that width there, mm -hmm. Should be 13 millimeters. Now you can have a you. There is a set of uh, calipers that you can measure it with. Okay. okay. But when you look at it, if you if you held up a ruler against it, it and it's the minimum. Okay. That's the point that you should change the disc. Okay. okay. All right. Or if the disc itself is damaged. And for the brake pads themselves, so is it the disc bit wears away? The disc wears, away. yeah. The, the yeah. pads wear, but yeah. the disc also wears. Okay. okay, over a period of time. Um, now for brake pads, again, there is no minimum for a brake pad. However, you need it to work. <laughs> yeah, you need it to work. All right. If you get to a, if you get to one millimeter, all right, that last millimeter will wear very, very quickly. Okay. And what happens is that if the friction material comes off, then you end up with basically a metal pad onto a metal disc and you destroy the discs, okay? And you destroy the discs, then you have now have to buy new discs, both sides, because you replace them as a pair, and new brake pads. So checking the brake pads should be done at a reasonably frequent interval, okay? And once they get to about three millimeters, mm -hmm. then you really should start thinking about replacing the brake pads. Okay. Okay. So. Cool. For the rears, it's the same rule. Okay. Now some some vehicles have drum brakes, some vehicles have disc brakes. You've got discs all around. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot more difficult to check the yeah, the, drums. the, the drums. Um, but there should be an inspection hole on the backing plate that you can check. Then you just shine a light, shine a light and see whether or not the, the material mm -hmm. is good mm -hmm. and if the, the, the drum itself is good. Okay. okay? So, again, here, if you look, we have, I'll come in this side, we have an outside edge which is about here, we have an inside edge which is there. And again, we have an area mm. here and here that is rusty, okay? Now, that's less than 50, uh, less than 50%. So there is more than 50% of, mm. of a surface. Mm. So that's a pass, mm. but it is starting to go. So it'll need uh, replacing soon. So it will need replacing at some point in time. Yeah. But as I say, at the moment, it is a pass. Before the next uh, check. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, we can check again on the inside. In actual fact, the inside is better than the outside. I don't know if you can see there the surface. I shine the light over it. Yeah. Okay. And again, you can see the brake pads here are about 10 millimeters of friction material left. So they're in pretty good condition. Okay. This side. This one's got the same sort of problem, but is better than the other one. And yeah, it is acceptable. I mean, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Yeah. So, okay. we look on the inside of this. And that one's okay as well. Yeah. Again, I don't see anything untoward. So, while I'm here, I can check the brake lines. Now, this is the metal part of the brakes that go from the front all the way to the back. And again, you check for evidence of rust. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's very, very difficult because yeah. it's covered in mud. But you should have a good check of the whole of the brake line all the way to the back. Okay. So we've inspected it before and we know that it's uh, it's okay. So so again everything's fine. It's only surface rust. So 
and so from the last uh, the last time that we did uh, the check on the front axle, then we know that the, the brake pipes are good. <laughs>